Slayer. What is going on, guys? I'm Fired Kid, and I'm back. Another gameplay and commentary video. Um, yeah, just I'm back. <laughs> I can't really think of anything else to say, we'll go straight into the video then. So, um, today I'm going to be talking about risks with 343 Industries and um, uh, more specifically Halo 5. Now, um, we, this is sort of tied into uh, a bit of Halo 5 news here and there. Um, but anyway, into the risks and if I think they're going to be risks or if, if I think that 343 will be playing a bit safe uh, or taking their time and thinking about it. Anyway, first of all, there has been rumours that Halo 5 will be an MMO. Now, will the community like this? Now, I'm not sure. Um, to be honest, uh, Halo's more of a camp, like a campaign, you know, like proper like storyline sort of thing. And an MMO would just be. I don't know if it'll be too different for the community. I don't know if they'll not appreciate it enough. And um, uh, some people start to leave the game. If it's an MMO, I'm not really sure what to think. I mean, I wouldn't mind it. I really, I wouldn't mind it at all. It's just, uh, as you know, community can be a bit shaky now and again because of obviously Halo 4's lack of um, players. Clearly showed they didn't have too much faith in the game. Next up, I have to say something about the Sprint. Now, uh, if you look closely at the uh, trailer for the uh, new game, uh, the beta, <clears throat> you can uh, actually see a Spartan sprinting in the background um, of uh, one of the clips. Now I'll put the clip on screen now so you can see it. Top right hand corner I think is and it's as the blue slides to behind cover you can see in the background a red sprint in the way. Now if they include sprint again um, will that also detract more competitive players because I guess yeah it does speed up the game uh, the speed of the game but most people are quite negative about sprint. They don't like it particularly much, and they would rather it not be in the game because it sort of takes away from the Halo-like feel of the game. Uh, next up is ordnance. Now, uh, ordnance drops obviously absolutely killed Halo 4. And uh, Naked Eli recently did a vlog uh, about E3, and he said, "Oh, the reason I haven't played Halo 4 as uh, as much as I played the other games is because of the unpredictability." Now, I totally agree with that. Because of the way the ordnance works, because it is so unpredictable and you don't actually know what is going to happen, you you're, you're, um, you could be uh, subject to a fuel rod on Haven, for example, in multi-team, and you don't stand a chance. If You know, it's just... And, like, you spawn with a needle of speed boost and... Um, oh, what's it called? Needle of speed boost and plasma grenades. So you, you don't really uh, stand much chance against that. So that's unpredictability there, which obviously drove some of the community members away and didn't actually help <laughs> Halo 4 one bit. Now, linking back to the point I made about Sprint in the um, beta thing, I must thank Craze Spartan for this um, this point, which at first, at first I didn't really believe, but the more and more and more I saw it, I, I sort of began to believe it now. There is a, uh, apparently a new weapon confirmed for Halo 5. Well, not confirmed, but it is in the beta trailer. And that is, I think it's called. Oh, correct me if I'm wrong. Just don't make a, uh, don't have a go at me. It's like the MK2 or something like that. I'm not MK5, perhaps. Um, but it was in um, the um, comic strips that the Master Chief featured in. I've completely forgotten what they're called. Um, but yeah, um, and that that's adding the new weapon. That's probably actually a good thing. Like I wouldn't necessarily say that's a bad thing. But I've got to really speed through these last points. Um, anyway, being safe for Halo 5, uh, first of all, they're bringing out beta, which is obviously brilliant. Betas are brilliant. Beta brilliant. Um, obviously, it gives 3 for 3 a chance to look back at their game and say, oh, uh, this is what we did wrong. This is what we should improve. Um, also, uh, is undoubtedly, they're bringing the BR back, so that's brilliant. And also, the weapons will be equal in strength. Hopefully, the AR won't be too overpowered like it is in this game. Um, as you can see, I'm pretty much ab using and abusing the AR, and uh, it seems to be working. Get my accommodations up a bit. Uh, also, new weapons such as like they added the saw and the railgun in Halo 4. What weapons do you want to see in Halo 5? Uh, do you, you want to see any return? And also, they're going to listen to the community, listen to what the community has to offer, and whether it will be a. Um, and they'll listen because they're obviously uh, beta. They're they listened and they will make points on it. Also, one, my last, very last point is that um, 
the Master Chief Collection has came uh, will come out. So that basically means that if the game is bad, if Halo 5 is bad, players can just go back to Master Chief Collection. They've got four Xbox One games to play. Anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed the video. A big shout out by, uh, to the man that I'm playing with, uh, as you can see on the screen now. Uh, Umuj, no. Anyway, I'll put it, I'll put his link in the description box below. He actually brings out decent content, and he he only has like five subscribers, which is just ridiculous because he he brings out some good uh, stuff quite frequently as well. So anyway, big shout out to the man. Go subscribe to him. Anyway, I've been Fire Kid. Like, subscribe, Twitter, and Twitch, and I'll see you guys all next time. Peace out.